I've always loved having painted nails. I think um, it just looks really lovely and really smart having your nails looking good and not chipped. Mine at the moment are looking disgusting. So it is well overdue that I gave them a bit of attention. I've been really busy the last few days. So um, I haven't got them done. Um, I'm just using a nail polish remover from Boots. It's a strengthening one and um, I, I like it, I just, well I suppose it's the word strengthening that I like, so I'm just going to remove the old polish here um, and get it all off. So I've painted my nails for years, I'm sure that a lot of my friends have never seen me without nail varnish. I've always done it myself, um, well I haven't always, I did go through a little phase of having shellac. Um, but I found it really damaged my nails, so I have avoided that for quite a few years. And to be honest, I don't have time to go and have a manicure, so this is what I do for mine. Um, my nails aren't in brilliant condition because they do get quite a battering with the animals and all the cooking I do, but anyway. So I will just remove all of this and then show you what I do. So once I've removed all the old nail polish, I then wash my hands in quite warm water and I push my cuticles back and just tidy up around there. I don't use a cuticle thing, I actually find them quite painful. I just use my thumbnail and just tidy up the edge of all the cuticles like that. So once I've finished pushing all the cuticles back, I then get um, this nail file and this has got different sides so it's got one which shapes it's got two which uh, files evens smooths buffs and shines quite a lot going on there um so i as i'm pushing my cuticles back i have a look and see which nails need attention i tend not to use this to shape my nails i tend just to use it if any of the surfaces have got kind of split you know how a nail um, can split. I then just use this. So if it's really bad, I'll just use one just to kind of even out any bits. Uh, that hand tends to be fine. And then I notice here this middle finger is quite kind of, um, sorry, I don't mean to stick my middle finger up at you. Um, it's quite uneven. So I'll just gently, really lightly, just take those kind of uneven bits off with the file. And there's a few there. And then I will use the, um, the number two just to level it. And then I'll use number three, the even one, and just press a bit harder with that and just even out any kind of little ridges that you might have. I'll just do one of those. I suppose it's my right hand because I am right-handed and I use it a lot more. So um, nails tend to get a bit of a beating. But I find painting my nails actually keeps them in better condition than if I wasn't to have any polish on. I kind of feel that the polish sticks the nails down and keeps them looking good and masks a multitude of sins of damaged, damaged nails, but um, they're not too bad at the moment. Just a little bit there. So once I've done that, it's also really important, don't put any cream on your nails um, just before you put nail varnish on because it doesn't stick as well. So make sure, and even if you have washed your hands and put any moisturizer on, you can just use uh, a little bit more nail varnish remover just to make sure that the surface is completely kind of clean from any greasy kind of creams or anything before you go for it. Now I use this Sally Hansen double duty base and top coat. Um, I really like Sally Hansen. And so I shall put a quick layer of this on uh, like this. I also tend to always do my nails um, on the kitchen island because we've got a wooden table there um, and I have got a wooden antique dressing table and if I was to get any nail varnish on that or to knock this over, the lid would off, it would cause a lot of damage. So this granite is amazing. I can um, leave nail varnish cotton pads on here and it won't, um, 
like my mark will cause a problem and I could even spill my nail varnish and I could then get that off. So make sure you're using um, a sensible surface just in case I have knocked a bottle of nail varnish remover off over before and caused quite a lot of damage. So I have learned my lesson the hard way. So just a rough, uh, quick coat of that. You know, it doesn't need to be precise. I mean, when I say rough, it's a quick coat of that. And then I love these, absolutely love Essie gel. Um, Essie do other ones which are in a straight bottle, but these ones, can you see, are twisted and they are amazing and they last well i haven't done my nails for mm, gosh probably about eight days now and they've lasted um until they were sort of really terrible recently but this is called oh goodness it doesn't say i don't think oh yes no it does tiny writing ball balls only so this is quite a good red and actually it's new a new one so it's a bit difficult to open um but i've got an itchy nose um I really like red at this time of year. In the summer, I love sort of brighter, more fun colours, but I just find that this is easy. It goes with everything and it's, yeah, it's great. Now, the brilliant, brilliant thing about these polishes is it doesn't matter if you get it onto the edges slightly because after you've washed your hands a few times, it peels away and it looks like you have got a perfect manicure. So that is why I can get away with doing it myself and also doing it myself quite quickly because I don't have time to be really precise. We just whack it on and it doesn't matter if we go over the edges slightly and make a bit of a mess because it's very easy to get it off. So I'll just quickly do those. And then very carefully swap over and do the other hand. I do use two coats because um, I think it gets a better finish, but you can get away with one with this, but I like the look from, from the two coats of it. I normally do my nails in the evening. Um, or I go up to bed watching TV or something. But we are going out tonight and I could not go out with them in the state that they're in. So I thought I would video it and show you guys because actually I have had quite a lot of questions over the years about my nails and how I have time to go for manicures, which I don't. So look, I've really gone over the edge of that one badly, but it doesn't matter. And now those have dried enough while I've been doing that hand. So we don't waste any time and paint the second coat on here. I've been using this Essie gel for a good couple of years and I really love it, but it doesn't, um, you don't need to put it under a lamp and you don't need to use special nail varnish remover. You just treat it like a normal um, nail varnish. Now, our local boots used to sell it and I haven't seen it in there for a little while so I order online if I um, can't get it but I think the big boots um, chemists still stock it but you know it's everything it's quite easy to order online so nearly finished that and so it's really quick, really easy. As you guys know, if you've been following me for a little while, that I'm often brushing, super busy, got a lot going on, and there is not time to be precious about my nails. I have made a real mess of that one, but that's fine. Top coat, so this is really good. It sets it really quickly too, so you don't have to wait too long. Um, but I have learnt my lesson. You cannot put rubber gloves on for at least 40 minutes after you've done your nails and you can't take anything out of the washing machine or tumble dryer either because that does have an effect. But there's quite a few other things that you can still do with slightly tacky nails. But this with the top coat does dry pretty quickly. So within 
15 minutes, I could get in the car, I could put a coat on and go somewhere. So it's just perfect. And as you can see, I've got quite pro at doing this very quickly. Do you think I need to get another top coat? It's getting a little bit low. Um, I tend to actually do my nails on a Sunday evening. I don't really like to sit and watch TV without doing something, so I will often paint my nails on a Sunday. So there. We are, we are all done, beautifully manicured, although they're slightly over the edge, but that's absolutely fine because after I've washed my hands a couple of times, nobody will notice. So I am all ready to go out this evening. Hope you have found this useful. And yes, do like and subscribe if you want to see more of what I get up to.